So what is in-home health care? And who's the best company that you know that does it? Hey, absolutely. Stick around to the end, and I'm going to be sure that we get that answer out for you. You know what I mean? Now, if you're here with me today and you don't know my name, my name is Mr. KC. They call me Mr. KC because my name is Kion Church, and they say that's kind of long. We're going to forget that. So we're going to call you Mr. KC. And what's your best advice on in-home health care? Now, let me tell you a couple secrets. In-home health care, is, is, all of this is non-medical health care. It's, uh, it's like non-nursing things that are going on. You know, I'm looking for my notes. I'm sorry. And uh, Reliable Aid Inc. is the best person to be able to help you with your non-medical health care. Health care in-home. It's actually activities of daily living. Now, big words, right? We're all not health care people. So what does that actually mean, Casey? Well, activities of daily living means the tasks for self-care, which are performed either independently, with supervision, or with assist or with assistance. Activities of daily living include but are not limited to ambulating. Now, big words. And if you like me, you're gonna say, What's ambulating? Sherry, sure, how you doing today? Ambulate means moving a person from one place to another place, all right? Transferring. Now, another big word. What is transferring? Now, transferring is help a person move from a bread, a bed to a stretcher, stretcher to a wheelchair, wheelchair to the toilet, you know, things like that. Uh, what else do we do? Transferring, grooming, bathing, dressing, eating, and toileting. Also, assistance with transferring is not permitted by PASA. So that's like something that's skill care, and that's bigger than in-home health care so when people talk that kind of talk you got to know like you know what's for me and what's not so with that being said reliable aid is the best place that you can get your in-home health care needs taken care of and since you're with me today i'd like to tell you a secret because i'm sure that you didn't know that the relatives that you're currently taking care of may be eligible for a paid caregiver under the state of delaware long-term health care plan hmm now listen, I know it sounds crazy because we're so used to hearing about our loved ones getting sentenced to a life at a cold stop nursing home, only to be taken care of by a stranger because the family members didn't have the time, money, or the resources that it be that it takes to be able to take care of them at home. Now listen, everybody needs to make a living and providing care can be very time consuming, making a decent paying job just out of reach for most voluntary family caregivers. Now, what if I told you you're the expert. You're the one in the home with your parents, with your loved ones. What if I told you it was possible for you to get paid to do what you're already doing right now? Mm. Now, listen, I'm going to wait on you because, you know what I mean, throw some hearts up. Give me some Facebook love. You know, get them likes up. You know, hashtag your city, hashtag your state. If you heard me, hashtag the country that you currently live in. If you think that getting paid for doing something that you're already doing is awesome, let me know. Because I think it's awesome. You know what I mean? And the best company to be able to help you to do that, once again, drum roll. Boom, boom. You know what I mean? I wish I had the drums right here. Y'all don't know I used to be a percussionist back in the day. But it's a whole different story. Right now, I'm the big-hearted caregiver. So, 302-689-3240. Call me if you need any help. Miss Ludia was nice enough to put it in the comments. Also, uh, don't forget to listen to our podcast on anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver. I'm on there. I'm giving it up. Look, we got some very special episodes going on right now. You, you gotta, you gotta check it out. I mean, I got some real live testimonials on there. I got stuff that we don't even do on the internet on the podcast. Like that's how, that's how strong it is. You know what I mean? Go to the podcast for, for all your favorite episodes. We got on one episode is really nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back with a name. I can't remember it. But it's the, like our most popular episode. I'm going to ask Miss Ludia to put it in the comments for us. Check that one out. Everybody loves that one. So go there. Download all the episodes you can. Anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver. Or go to iTunes. Go to uh, Spotify. Go to SoundCloud. Go to wherever you listen to your favorite podcast at. Wherever you listen to because we there. Big hearted caregivers everywhere. All around the world. And everywhere at once. Omnipresent. We love you. Listen, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents or your loved ones is a bad thing. Because we're doing this to get our blessings, all right? So I love you. I'll talk to you later. Peace.